Have you ever seen a chicken get a bath? I have a chicken that's egg bound and uh, I'm going to show you how you can recognize that and what I'm fixing to do is soak her butt, her vent, in some uh, warm soapy water for about a half an hour and I'm going to have to massage her butt. I don't like this any more than you do, but she might enjoy it. So, uh, I drink a soda. That's a soda. I don't drink beer. I don't drink at all. And uh, go get her. She's in pain. And uh, drink this soda. I'll take you out there and show you what to look for in an egg bound chicken and how to uh, possibly cure it yourself. There she is. You can see she's in discomfort and uh, her back is kind of hunched and watch her butt. See how she keeps convulsing like she's trying to push out a poop? Uh, that's her trying to push out an egg. And this is the second day. I wished I had noticed what was going on yesterday. Poor thing. We're going to get you fixed up, baby girl. Just a minute. i got to get a couple things set up and I'll come back and get you. This is my lawnmower shop. Once you uh, give them this bath, you want to separate them from the rest of the chickens because uh, you got to give them plenty of time to relax. Because what they're trying to do is pass an egg that's too big for that uh, the vent tube that they pass eggs through. And uh, you want to keep it warm but not hot. And I got my, it's kind of hot out here, so I got my fan blowing into this cage. And uh, after I give her the bath and rub her butt, I'll shut the lights off and uh, put her in that cage. I got water and food in there, and uh, it'll be kind of dark. So she can be all to herself without being disturbed by the other chickens. All right, let's go. Uh, well, I'll show you when I get in there. I've got a tub of uh, a big old wash pan of uh, warm soapy water in there in my other shop because the chair is more comfortable. <laughs> and I'm going to have to sit there and hold her in the water at first. And then, uh, if she gets used to it a little bit, uh, maybe I can hold her in there with one hand while I, I do the dirty with the other hand. All right, let's get after it. I'm not making any promises. Let's see how this works. Alright, let's get your back end in there. Oh, it feels so hard up under there, this poor thing. And if this doesn't work, the next thing is to get a little more ugly with it and you gotta go inside her vent tube with a little lubrication and you may even have to uh, poke a hole in the egg that's bound up and suck out the insides with like a syringe and then bust the egg I'm not going to make you watch this whole half hour ordeal, but uh, I'll bring you back when we're close to having the, the massage done. How's that for a happy chicken? Chicken soup. Okay. Oh, 
Alrighty. I, uh, we'll give her about a half an hour and rubbed her butt off and on. And we're fixing to go stick her in that cage out there and give her some peace and quiet and some dark so she can really relax and uh, maybe push that egg on through. Okay, sweetie. I'm going to leave you alone in here for a little while. A day, maybe two. I'm not going to put that fan right on you, though, until you dry off some. So, uh, if it works, I'll let you know. If it doesn't, I'll let you know what my next step is going to be. And uh, if, uh, if there's not an egg in the morning, I'm probably going to take some kind of lubrication and uh, go up in that vent with my finger and... If nothing else, see if I can feel the egg and uh, maybe put a little Vaseline on her tube. I don't know. I don't want to lose her and I don't want her to be in pain. So, see you tomorrow. Well, uh, my chicken did not pass that egg. So, uh, I got to move on to step two. Uh, this is mineral oil. And uh, I had a, a large eyedropper, but I have tore the house apart and I can't find it. But what I do have is a hydrometer that you check uh, your electrolytes with. Let me see. Yeah, this is a battery hydrometer. Uh, you check your batteries with it. But this has never been used. I have two, one that I've used. So uh, I'm going to fill this up with mineral oil. And can you guess where it's going? Uh, let me go get the little patient, and I'll be right back. Alright. This may not be something you want to watch. Okay, I know that was nasty. I'm fixing to put her back in her cage. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I really feel sorry for her. I wish there was more I could do. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Because yeah, if this doesn't work, uh, I'm going to have to take another route that I won't show on camera. Thanks for watching. Well, it worked. She is a happy girl, let me tell you. And uh, I'll tell you what I did. I didn't record it because it was kind of disgusting. I had to get her back up into my shop on the bench and hold her down. And I put mineral oil on my finger. And I had to go up in that vent with uh, mineral oil and wipe it around in there. And uh, now she won't stop calling me. Anyway, she's uh, all better. So that's one way to... Uh, cure an egg-bound hen. Yep, she's a much happier girl. Alrighty, thanks for watching. It's been interesting. <laughs>